BBC Radio 2 stars Rylan Clark and Scott Mills had to be saved by Merseyside Water Rescue after they were mobbed by Eurovision fans following an evening out. The former X Factor star, 34, and the radio DJ, 50, are taking turns to host coverage of the singing competition, alongside actress Hannah Waddingham and other names. Taking to social media to document the chaos, Rylan revealed he and Scott had gone out for dinner in Liverpool ahead of the grand final tonight. However, mayhem ensued when the former It Takes Two presenter and Scott were left stranded and unable to book a taxi. Luckily for the duo, there was another mode of transport available, Merseyside Water Rescue who gave the pair Hivas jackets to safely get them to their hotel. Rylan shared the drama on his Instagram stories and couldn't resist showing his modeling skills while in the safety paraphernalia. In the video of the journey home, a disgruntled Scott can be heard remarking, this is ridiculous. Meanwhile, an amused Rylan explained exactly what had happened, revealing, so basically there's been no cars. Scott then piped up, well we did leave dinner at the exact time when everyone was leaving the arena. Ryland continued the story, telling fans, we didn't realize the arena was kicking out at that point, well done everyone. And then Merseyside Water Rescue has just come to our aid and they put us on a boat but we couldn't get out of the dock. He then added, so Merseyside Water Rescue has decided to take us back to our hotel, which I think is lovely and thank you for the high this. After the drama Rylan made sure to thank the rescue team by sharing a photo of himself, Scott and the Merseyside Water Rescue team in matching jackets with the caption, thanks to Merseyside Water Rescue for getting us home tonight. No cars. You legends thanks for the high this sex. Following Sam Ryder's success in last year's Eurovision, the 2023 show will be broadcasted from Liverpool, England. The Spaceman singer finished in second place, following on from Ukraine's Galush Orchestra who won the show. Due to the war in Ukraine, it was agreed that the second-placed act would host the show on behalf of Ukraine. May Muller is representing the UK, with her track I Wrote a Song and there are high hopes for her to take home the top prize this year after the UK narrowly missed out on the top spot in 2022. Eurovision, coming live from Liverpool, Northwest England, will kick off at 8 p.m. on BBC One. Graham Norton, Hannah Waddingham, Alicia Dixon and Julia Sanina are set to present the 67th annual song competition, while Strylan Clark and Scott Mills are also involved in the presenting for the UK. Catherine Tate will be the one to give out the points for the UK when the show crosses to each country to find out how their audiences rank the different tax as the big leaderboard takes shape. The show will end at midnight, but it is live TV so anything could happen.